Rod, how do we check and correct posture? So I, I check posture using photographs, uh, posture photographs, where there's one taken from the front, from behind and from the side with a string line. And, and I do that f for my information, but I also do that for the patient's information because it's very clear. If, uh, if things are uh, abnormal, then they'll actually see what they are. Uh, I also stand people on scales uh, to see whether they're evenly weighted. Um, because if they're not, then they get to see that there are things that aren't right because they might think that everything is fine. Mm -hmm. And and then I, I guess I evaluate just how their whole spine and body is functioning because if there are things that aren't right that they know about, that's one thing. And if there are things that aren't right they don't know about, then that's a different thing. Um, getting things to be more normal from my point of view is one side of the coin and having people be aware of, of actually what's happening and, and hopefully be aware of the importance of having things um, be posturally correct is, is a, a goal uh, because if people aren't motivated to, to go down a different path then not much will change until they are. So you can imagine that teenage people are a bit of a challenge because what could be wrong with me? You know? But it, that's the critical time, that's really the critical time. When they're teenagers they're still growing or they're at, they're at a point where they're just locking in lifelong patterns of movement mm -hmm. and how they stand is it's, it's a pattern that you've created um, and been modified by life but um, having it corrected is just really valuable.